Hi folks, say hello Bob. Hello uh, Bob. She never gets old, does it? Right, on the bench today, we've got an EJ160E, uh, the John Lennon uh, limited edition signature acoustic, uh, electroacoustic this model. Lovely guitar, action is, is dreadful, uh, brand new out of the box, it really does require uh, a lot of work. Uh, Bob, first acoustic that we've done for people, yeah. what are we going to do? First thing we need to do is we get them to set the action because that, that saddle there is way too hard. It's making that a little bit more difficult to play. After we've done that, I've already had a check on the guitar and the truss rod does need some adjustment because the neck is dead straight. Following on from that, there's a quick check of the nut, make sure all the, the measurements are okay there. Then after that, it should be good to go. Right, let's zoom in for a close-up. Right folks, we'll make an initial adjustment to the neck now. This will alter and we will have to do it again uh, when we put some fresh strings on, but we need to know what we're playing with to begin with. Uh, so Bob, what is the initial reading we should be really looking for here? The initial reading should be about 14 there with the 8th fret there. We did cap out at the first. I've already took a reading, it's way over 14 there, so it needs to close the gap a bit. And to do this I'll use the Allen key. Do it in small increments and just keep measuring it as you go along. Put your finger on the bottom fret, tap out top and the feeler guide should just go on to the in between the eighth fret without actually bending it too hard. Another turn. Just need another turn, possibly. Again steady with this folks, it's it's known which way to turn and what way to go, but we're just looking for an that initial. It's just starting to do it. So I'll just back it up very slightly. And that. Then. It's set right at 14 there. Right, let's get cracking on the next stage. Right, guys, to do any saddle work, um, the strings are going to be on and off, on and off, on and off. So, what we do to avoid uh, damaging any new sets of strings in advance, Best method for this, uh, which Bob taught me many moons ago, get a capo on somewhere about the 5th or 6th fret and unwind the tension. If Bob very kindly unwinds the tension. About 12 pounds. Your hands look lovely in this shot, Bob. Do that. You, oh, you could that. model nail varnish with those. Oh, yeah. Slacked, yeah. capo's holding the strings. Yeah, now you just need to see, lift it up, lift all the strings out to see if there's enough clearance. There should be out. enough clearance to get this bridge out. Just take another couple little of bit more. Right, guys, a couple of things we can do here. Very carefully with a pair of pliers, we can grab the bridge and now lift it from the slot, bringing it out for us to then start our work. Do an adjustment, get it back in. You might find that this bridge is a little bit tough to get out. If you've got a pin puller, definitely not a pair of pliers, here's one that we sell at the shop. You can remove the pin, thus allowing the string to be removed. Take the strings away and then remove your bridge. We've got the capo holding the strings so they're not going to fly off. Most guitars, if they're slacked off enough, you should be able to just reach out and grab it. If not, do carefully remove the pins. We're going to take our first adjustment now and we'll be back for the next video. Right, having removed the saddle and I've now determined the first um, measurement I'm going to take half a mil off the complete bottom of the bridge, saddle. And to do this, for those of you that haven't any, got really any tools, you can either use a rule, a thin rule, which is about 20 thousand, or a piece of card, wooden card. You mark the one side of the saddle with a, a marker of some sort. Try not to use a permanent marker. And then push the saddle alongside the rule and then mark with a pencil or pen. And that will leave you 
a mark. Now then, for those of you that haven't got real, real tools, the way to do this now is to get yourself a piece of Henry cloth for some paper, coarse or, or medium fine. And then all you do, you proceed to push backwards and forwards until you're down to that line. Taking care that you don't tip off more side than the other. Just push it backwards and forwards till this enough comes up till you're down to the line. Turn it round occasionally. And then once you're down to that line, you can then try it back on the guitar. Another method you can use, if you've got access to a good vice, is that you can put the uh, saddle into a vice, making sure that the top of the vice is dead level. Then you can tap that down, and I use a half a millimetre set feeler gauge against the side of the vice, on top of the jaw, knock it down, till it's parallel all along that vice. And you tighten the vice up, and then basically file, and you just take all the excess that's sticking into the vice up. Shouldn't take long because um, you do this as I said in small increments, that's how much has come off. That now has been reduced by half a millimetre. Right, having set the saddle to the right height, it's now that time just to trim it off now and then fit it into the guitar. Just get a little file or something, just make sure the edges are squared off a bit so it sits comfortably in the base of the, in the, base of the bridge. Give it a quick rub. now sharp edges on it, nice and smooth and now the saddle is ready to be fitted. Right folks, saddles can vary from sizes depending on the guitar um, so for this example Bob with the guitar we've got what are we looking for size wise? On this John Lennon type guitar the saddle needs to be anywhere between 6 and 6.5 mil thick this one has actually gone down to 6.2, which is now the right size for that guitar. Let's get it on and give it a try. Right guys, we're finally down to what we think the correct measurement should be. We've done it in increments. Uh, obviously you'll have seen earlier in the video us taking it out and Bob doing his handiwork. Uh, it's been on and off, what, four or five times would you say Bob? Yeah, four or five. Um, yeah. So we're happy now with the measurement that that is as low as it needs to be. We'll come back to readdress the neck at a later date. Um, Restring time. Yeah, restring time. Well, uh. Restring time now, folks. Probably another quick video for you, but we'll get this done and then I think we can give it a final check and a sound test. Okay. Say hello Bob. Hello there. As usual, if you like what you're seeing, please subscribe and give us a like. We'll see you next time.
whenever you're ready. I put my thumb up 30 seconds ago. Oh, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh God. God. Right, let's do it again. Right, Bob, what's the final stage before we put it back in? Well, having set the nut to the right height now. <laughs> it's the saddle. Oh, well, I forgot about <laughs> Oh. Nuts I'll tell you your bloody nuts. Right, let's try it again. Right, Bob, what's the last thing before we get it back in? Have you set the nut to the right? <laughs> it's a saddle. Oh, oh good. <laughs> Is that a saddle? Oh, oh. go on then. No. I'll, I'll, get, I'll sit on you. <laughs> <laughs> bloody sit on you in a minute. Right, come on. I'll give you a Right, so we get some, let's just get some prompt cards. This is ridiculous. Right now, have you set the suds? <laughs> <laughs> the suds. <laughs> it's just... Oh, yeah. I'll give you. Oh. Have you set yeah, this yeah. bit right? Yeah. The, the, it's finished, we're done, we're going out. Hang on, just saddle. <laughs> saddle, Dickie. Remind me. Saddle. <laughs> Not really. It's a saddle. It's a Not saddle. Say saddle. Right. Having sat the saddle to the right height. It's in the bloody picture. Oh, well, of course. It doesn't matter, do you? You know what it is by now. <laughs> right, guys, bridges can vary from guitar. <laughs> Cocking my bloody words Cocking on it. Queen's English, have it. Take that I'll tell you what, if you were to old and decrepit, I'd swing for you. Right, folks, bridges can vary. It's a saddle, in it? It's not a bridge, it's a saddle. I'm saddle catching like. your disease now. That's a saddle, now. that's a bridge For down there. For God's sake. Oh. That's a bridge down there. Right, folks, saddles can depend on size. <laughs> it can vary in size, depending on the... <laughs> you see what we have to put up with? Oh. Right. Right, folks, saddles can vary in size depending on sort of the guitar that we're working on. So, on this particular guitar, Bob, what are we looking for? Well, on this John Lemon type guitar. <laughs> John Lemon! <laughs> oh, uh, what was his name? Prue McCarthy. Adam McCarthy, yeah, Adam McCarthy. Adam McCarthy. <laughs> John Lemon. There's only one Lemon. <laughs> he was that other Beatle. <laughs> Right, folks, saddles can vary in size depending on the type of guitar. Um, so, for example, with this guitar, Bob, what are we looking for size-wise? On this John Lennon type of guitar. Right, there is Lennon. Right. Okay, then. Right, it's, this, is the, this is the one. This is the one. Help me, Pen, get out of the way. 